Dead? Dead. Dead! Oh, poor Jessica. Sorry to get back on board the bus on such a sad note there. Sorry, guys. But now the Alkirk has been turned to stone, turned into a statue by Zenobia of the Vile Tribe. In the name of Athena, let this curse be gone! Come on. It's gotta work. It's not working. I don't think this spell can be lifted unless the one who cast it is killed. Her name's Zenobia. She was the one who was impersonating Lamia Alsa. Yeah, that's right there, if you guys have forgotten. That witch Zenobia. That freak Galleon. I'll never forgive them. I'll save my father, even if I have to give up my life for his. I'll never give up. And I'll never cry. I'm Jessica the Alkirk, daughter of Hell Mel. That's right, you are, Jessica. <laughs> Alex? Nal? Let's go. Where are we going, Jessica? Yeah, where are we going now? We're going to commit. We're going to right the wrongs committed this day. Galleon will pay dearly. Yes, he will. We need more information on Galleon and the Vile Tribe. Let's speak with Lamia Alsa, leader of the Magic Guild. That's not a bad idea, there. Like you know, I imagine that she would have more insight on Galleon than just about anybody. I'd like to get some advice from her daughter as well. And hey, you know, excuse to get Mia back on the team there. <laughs> I'm for it. We'll get to see Mia again. That's great, Alex. Sure is. You guys aren't nervous? Uh, I mean, you guys aren't nervous. Me neither. <laughs> Let's head for Vane. Let's do it. I love you, Dad. Hold on, Dad. Please hold on. I won't be long, I promise. I'll break this evil magic. I believe in you, Jessica. I believe in you. <laughs> Alright, so, yep, uh, after that whole cutscene there with Zenobia turning Mel into a statue, all the enemies outside are gone, the invasion of Moribia is over, so you can walk around freely now, that's good, that's good, uh, what do you have to say, anything? This is a nightmare. <laughs> Don't cry, everything will be alright, I promise. Just keep an eye on my dad until we get back, okay? Jessica, please be careful. If anything were to happen to you, I would be too ashamed to face your mother in heaven. <laughs> well, don't worry about us, sir. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we got this. Don't take it da take Galleon down. And Zenobia there, of course. <laughs> Bring Hell Mel back to his former self there. Uh, Master Mel is a hero of the Beastmen. I know he's mine, and now he's turned to stone. I fear what will happen to our city without him to guide us, sir. It's fair. Fair question. Cheer up! Mel's condition is only temporary, and we have to be strong until he's cured. That's true. That's true. Way to keep the perspective there, Jessica. Uh, anything you have to say? Now that Mel's been stopped, Vile Tribe was going to Bane next, maybe. Oh, well, that's not good. We're probably looking at the Magic Guild as a giant flying eyesore. That doesn't... That doesn't... You know, that, that makes sense to me there. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, despite his awful grammar, this guy might actually be onto something. Let's check it out. Alright, well, but first, before we do a checking out there, I want to go ahead and make our way over to Black Rose Street here, because we did talk to a rather unusual individual last time, so to speak, there. Uh, this guy here, I do believe, there. I think what makes my attraction to Roy so strong is that she has the taste of forbidden fruit. Not to mention the fact that I keep ogling her sexy bromide. You know, it's not very healthy for me to keep abusing this thing. Here, you take it. Take it. I can't see it anymore. Got Joyce's, Royce's bromide. <laughs> All right. Hooray. <laughs> Another bromide down there. So, yet before you leave Moribia there to go to the next part of the story there, which, as you might have guessed, is we're in the vein. Uh, let's talk to that guy there to get uh, Royce's bromide. Uh, that's what happened to Master Mel. I think we can safely declare an end to the city of Moribia. Hey, don't, don't be talking like that. I've been packing up my belongings uh, for a trip back home to Vane. This isn't the end of anything, you coward. This is when we need to unite our forces and fight the Vile Tribe together. That's right. Well said, Jessica. Uh, let's talk to the Hag Sister here, anything? Oh my. It's another of the Vile Tribe. I should use my magic to roast you. <laughs> you don't want to eat me, Hag. Or else you'd uh, have the squirts for weeks, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a stomach of iron, cat. <laughs> Shall we test it? <laughs> uh, no. 
pass. <laughs> I don't think any of the shops have anything new or of interest there. Yeah, just the uh, same old, same old. So, uh, yeah. Uh, does Ramus have anything to say? Let's go ahead and chit chat with Ramus real quick before we head to head to Vane. Just a quick, quick stop. You can obviously go around and talk to all the people there and see what they have to say about Meribia being attacked and everything. What they have to say about the evil vile tribe. But for now, uh, what do you have to say here? Hello, you came by just in time for a sword sale. By now, before vile tribe attacks again. Uh, we originally planned to sell Master Mel stonewashed jeans. Ouch. Bad taste, guys. <laughs> that seems to be in poor taste under the circumstances. It sure is. Okay. I guess before you were planning on doing that there, I'll, I'll give you the pass on that there, if it was a thing planned beforehand. Alright, uh, I think that is all the same as well there. No upgrades for uh, Ramus's just, Ramus just shop either. Uh, let's go ahead and grab just a couple uh, healing nuts here. So why not? Got some cash on us. They're pretty cheap. Oh, Ramus, my man. Hey, Alex. I heard what happened to Luna. You must be so worried. But you have to stay true to your quest to become a Dragon Master. It's the only way you can save her. And the only way you can save the world. Luna won't want you to give up on your dream. Or to give up on her. Uh, true words, Ramus. True words. If there's anything you can, I can do for you, Alex, you only have to ask. How about a discount? No? No? Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Okay, I don't think that there is anything else that we need to be doing here in town. So, you know what? Alright, magic wings, let's go. To Vane? Vane? Any other stops I want to make? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything necessary before we go Vane, so let's just go Vane. <laughs> I think we're still pretty well equipped and everything. Oh, we need to be worried there. I mean, no. Some danger music there, some sort of like <laughs> battle music going on here. Like, I'm sure there's nothing here. Did, did you see that? Oh, see what? Oh, that. That, that that's that's an ugly. <laughs> Impossible. My magic doesn't affect doesn't have any effect on it at all. Damn. Can't let this monster destroy Vane. Come on, Nash. We can do this. How can we do it alone? How can you do it alone? Well, the cavalry is here, so no worries. <laughs> Mia, Nash, are you okay? Alex, no, Jessica. <laughs> First vile tribe violates my hometown, and now Mia's? This is it, Alex. No more Miss Nice Girl. I'm gonna fight these creeps with everything I've got. That's a spirit, Jessica. Let's take it to them. So rather than having a full city-wide uh, invasion there, a whole bunch of enemies there, we have one boss fight here against the Vile Crustacean attacking main. So, alright. Uh, let me see here. I want to go ahead and get... I thought they... I must messed up there. I thought they uh, moved Jessica around there. That's alright there. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and power up now here. And... Nash have anything of interest to do? Uh, he's got some healing herbs there. We might have to use those later there. I think that I want to spread people out right now, actually. Let's go ahead and get Nash all the way over there. How should I get a uh, heal? That's uh, just going. Uh, all right, now let's go ahead and put you up there. And yeah, we're just going to completely spread out the team here. Just for now. Yeah, Alex's attack power up. And okay, so just regular attacks right now there. And good thing that we had Nash defending there. <laughs> okay, so he was had blue eyes before, but now he has these yellow eyes there. There's gonna be uh, I do believe a single target attack there on one of our on our team here, which does a decent bit of damage. Uh, but we're gonna do a decent bit of damage on our own here. <laughs> okay. Uh I think that. Uh, as Nash was talking about before, his uh, uh, magic doesn't do a whole lot of damage to this guy, so uh, he's not going to be a whole lot of use there. But uh, on his off turns there, we'll go ahead and... Uh, actually, go ahead and use an herb on yourself there, because I'm going to have... Uh, have 
bit. Jessica, do some attacking here. Uh, yeah, we'll do Ice Lancers, single target damage, and we're actually going to use the Ice Mace as an attack here. So I do believe that this does more damage than Nashville's magic does there, and 250 nearly. <laughs> 249 damage there. Nice, nice, I'll take that. Summon Elemental Power! Summon that Elemental Power. <laughs> so yeah, Alex is obviously going to be doing the most of your damage here, and of course it was on Nash there, but he survived! Alright! <laughs> Good on you, Nash. Good on you. Uh, let's just go ahead and yeah, just use a healing nut there. Get yourself back up there. And he's doing the same attack here again. So yep, yeah, let's just go ahead and repeat here. <laughs> just keep it going there. And big sword damage, Jalen. Big sword dance damage. Summon <laughs> elemental power. Let's keep all this going here. Uh, let's go ahead and okay, is this gonna be Alex? Yeah, this is gonna be Alex. Uh, Alex got the HP for it there, so. Uh, no big deal. I think I am gonna have to have uh, Jessica now do the healing here. Uh, let's see. Oh, like the enemy zone and all enemies are gonna be doing less damage there. Should I do any increase of defense here? Should I just keep going on the attack? Let's keep going on the attack. <laughs> Alright, now then. Uh, let's go ahead and use. Now we'll go ahead and use magic. There you go. Plenty of it, Jessica. And yeah, you can see Fire King does 25 damage, Athena, I think, the, the electric shock attack that he does there. Yeah. Thunder Bomb does pretty well close to the same amount of damage there. Summon elemental power. Let's see what he does here with his eyes closed, what kind of attack he does now. Okay, this is a uh, ray attack there, so okay. <laughs> so it'll hit all enemies in a straight line there of his vision, so good thing that we have a ray spread out there, so it only hit one person. <laughs> That's the main reason that you want to have people spread out there and on different elevations if you can help it. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep it. Actually, we'll go ahead and show how much damage Thunder Bomb does, and we'll see. It was about 25 that his uh, cane did. And now we're going to go ahead and do a Calm Litany, get everybody Check healed up out. a little bit. So, Thunder Bomb! 19. So, yeah. <laughs> Thunder Athena, Magic, not, not the best choice here. Sword dance, the best choice here. <laughs> so yeah, just keep on going with this here, and uh, like I said, you could be doing some defense boosts with Mia there, but uh, her little 30 damage is nice to have. Nice to have. Uh, keep the keep those numbers going up there. Okay, yep, we're definitely not doing that anymore. <laughs> okay, and we're definitely going to have to heal everybody there, because if Alex or Nash get hit with this attack there, then. Uh, then they're gonna be down and out. Althena, lend me your power. Okay, that brought right, right up full. Good, power. good. <laughs> and mini doom. Hopefully not doom. That's not doom. <laughs> All right, Alex is running low on eight MP here, though. Well, we got enough for uh, two more rounds of this here. And keep on with big damage here, hopefully. Uh. So now, do I risk doing the heal litany on Alex? Uh, I'll just go ahead and do the healing nut. That should get him up to full, I do believe. Rather than the heal litany, which might not get him up to full, and in that case there, he might fall victim to this attack if he is the one targeted. Summon elemental power. Or elemental power. Oh, okay. Are you going for Nash again? <laughs> Uh, apparently just leaving the ladies alone here. Uh, I'm fine with that. And Nash with the dodge. Nice. Nice. So we can do a full round of attacks on this guy. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Keep the Ice Lance going there. And Ice Mace. I'm pretty sure that her physical attack is about the same as the Ice Mace there. I mean, there's a chance for her to do a critical with the regular attack. So maybe I should have been doing that there. Oh. Uh, uh, well, 42 damage on that one. Nice. Nice. Oh, I seen <laughs> Mia there. How's this gonna hit? Yep, just Alex. All right, perfect, perfect. Okay. Oh nope, that was it for Alex's. Uh, all right, just gonna do attack. See how well that does for Alex. And the uh, heal litany. I think this will be okay. Cause it only did about 70 to 80 damage on Alex there, and we're up over 80. So if Alex 
once it's targeted there, I think we'll still be Summon all right. Elemental power. Nash again? Ah, oh, Nash again. But not dodge it this time. <laughs> Sorry there, Nash. Ah, dang, you're going for it again. Jeez. Calm down, guy. All right. Uh, it's like, <laughs> if he targets Nash, Nash is dead either way. But still, we'll go ahead and do the calm litany there to get both of them up. And next round, if need be, we'll go ahead and Athena, uh, solo power. heal Nash. Oh, big crit. Ah, yeah, with the crit win. Yeah. Alex is party one. 1,200 experience points there. And let's leave those levels go. Uh, MP. HP, MP. Nice, nice. Attack by three. Nice. Yeah, we can definitely use that. And uh, some decent stats all, all around there for Alex. Anybody else? Come on. Yeah, Mia. All right. HP, five. And MP, five. Nice. Attack two. You're never going to do that, but you know. <laughs> sure. I uh, could use some more defense there. Some wisdom. Pretty good. That's yeah, some magic endurance. All right. Anybody else? Or was that it? I think that was it. That's it. <laughs> nice. Nice level gains. All right. Let's go. Thank you. All of you. Well, I could have handled that monster by myself, your assistance was helpful. Yeah. Thanks, Nash. Thanks. <laughs> I think that's as close as, <laughs> as Nash has ever come to saying thank you. Yeah, probably. Jessica, when I was at Black Rose Street, I heard about your father. When? Like, we just came from there, but, uh, time. It's weird. <laughs> is, is this true? <laughs> yes, this is true. <laughs> he was protecting me from Zenobia's magic. Jessica, I... That means I heard about Galleon, the Magic Emperor, and what he did to Quark. It's all true! And he kidnapped Luna, too! This is madness! Galleon was one of the four heroes, and now he's become... Mia, I'm going to find Zenobia. I'm going to finish her. Then I'm going to help Alex fight the Magic Emperor. Fight Galleon? And that... Now that is madness! He'll be killed! I know it's going to be a challenge, Mia. That's why I'm here. Find out what I can about Galleon before we set out to kill him. Did you notice anything strange about Galleon at the Magic Guild? No, I'm afraid not. But I'm sure my mother could tell us what she has observed. Why don't we ask the other? Good idea. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> See what Mia has to, or La Mia has to say about all this. I can't believe that Galleon was one of was our worst enemy all along. It's it's overwhelming. It's like a nightmare. Yes, it does seem to be such. But this is all too real, I'm afraid. Poor Mel. What will we what will we do to save him? First things first, Mia. There will be no rescuing Mel until we put a stop to the Vile Tribe. We have to think of a plan. I just wish my head were clearer right now. Okay, so we kind of break off here. Uh, let's talk to Nash first here. I was so stupid, Mia. I was so blind to the truth. Gan would send me across the land to gather information about singers, dragons, and you couldn't put two and two together <laughs> about singers going dis disappearing and everything. But uh, <laughs> I would report all I learned to him or to Royce or to both of them on a few occasions. I believe that I believed. I had the most important job in the Magic Guild, Mia. Oh, I'm so proud. Ash. I thought Galleon had become my friend, but I was just being used for my intellect. I let him do it, Mia. I let him stroke my ego until I was purring in his lap. Uh, yeah, anything to say? My mother's magical powers are gone, and her physical condition is only getting worse. Galleon tried to destroy my mother, Alex, and I have succeeded. He. He's insane, Mia! And that's and what he did to your mother, your mom, and my dad? It can't be forgiven. You're right, Mia. Your mom might still die, unless we find Galleon and kill him first. You can't stay here and do nothing, Mia. You have to come with us and fight with us. I... I know. If defeating Galleon is the only way to save my mother and my people, then I have no choice. Alex, 
Please take me with you. Let me fight at your side. Mia, you can't do this! Your mother is gravely ill, and the Magic Guild is in chaos! Which is exactly why I'm going, Nash. Because I have to save both them. Both of them. Because I can save both of them if I slay Galleon. Alright, and Mia joins his party. Hooray! Huzzah! I'm sorry, Mia. I'm sorry to, for being such a burden upon you. I ask your forgiveness. Mother, you're not, you're not a burden at all. Taking care of you is the very least I can do. Thank you, Mia. You truly make me happy. Many members of the council question whether or not Mia can be an effective guildmaster. These are her soft-spoken demeanor. They never question me, of course. Only, uh, only each other. I believe that Mia's gentle nature is her greatest strength. Her kind and caring heart is what our world needs to defeat Galleon and his dark soul. Right on, Mia. Right on. Exactly. Alright, well... See you, Nash. All right, everyone. That will bring this episode of Lunar the Silver Star Story Complete to a close. You can rest up at the nearest Goddess Althena statue, but don't stray too far from the bus. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when the next episode goes up. Until that time comes, stay gold, my friends.